Okay, welcome back to MG Arena, everybody. So, we are done with the Court of 20 season, the second season. So, it looks like there's going to be two seasons for every single set. So, I, I guess, suppose the first month and then the second month, or something of that sort. So, anyway, so <clears throat> we're both ranked in gold four tier. So, I think we can both get knocked down to bronze, I think. Oh, we've got plenty of packs to, um, to crack as well. Let's go ahead and, and crack those up and yep, bronze tier one. Okay, so we get to immediately get into silver tier. That's really really nice. All right, so we'll crack packs first, and then I've got a far, I've got a very nice idea for um ooh mirror maid. <coughs> I've got a nice idea for the. For the play any deck standard. Aaron Crag Paramancer. Ooh, could do that. Castle Embrith. Gilded Goose, sure. Another mirror maid. I don't need those. Those are not that great. Is it terrible? Hushbringer. At least something decent here. Not even mythic. Okay, there's a mythic. Garrick, the cursed huntsman. That's some. That's fantastic. Harmonious archon. Okay, not too bad. Mm. Escape to the wild. Lock me a serpent. Very nice. Okay, so those are some pretty good cards. So we've got ten hours left. Um, by the time this is posted, the events will be over. <coughs> so. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. All right, so four fires of invention. Um, now I worked on a deck that went deafening. One castle Arden Vale. <coughs> Any mana. Okay. Oi, 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 oi. Okay. Do I go? Jund. So let me let me build the list at least for the um the disc guy version. Perry. Chandra Chandra Awaken Inferno. So bone crusher giant, what else? Lava coil. Let's just do that for now. Um what else was there? Oh yeah. One sundering stroke. Let's see what else.
Eh, uh, silence and merciful. Yunling might not be too bad. So, this. Did not really do so well, or at least it's not going to do well against. Not uh, what you can call it, the questing questing beast, the questing beast, or wh whatever that is. It can do well against Oko. But I'm doing that. So we've got lava coils for the questing beast. However, the only problem with this is that it's going to do it automatically, like. Deal 4 damage to you, kill your planeswalker. And that's going to be happening almost all of the time. <clears throat> now, perhaps Chop Down may be the answer for that. Well, I'm not sure that's an instant here. But tapping target creature <clears throat> is a lot more than damn. So I'm trying to figure out some way of dealing with Questing Beast because that's literally the problem. The only problem this deck has is with Questing Beast and that's going to be heavily played in this ladder. So... Oh jeez. Eternal Isolation. That Sorceress Beast. I need to do... Do we have to play Divine Arrow? Like... And this is black or red. None of these colours deal with green and Aether Gust is not going to be a good answer for Questing Beast as haste. Uh, Usher into safety is... Do we play that? Return target permanent you control to its owner's hand. But we're tapping out most of the time, so it's not like we're going to do that. Uh, take Vengeance, that's all too late, and doesn't kill Questing Beast, it has Vigilance anyways. <coughs> oh, so it was like a, a green hate card in white, red, or blue, that is actually pretty decent, you know. And this is like this is a fine deck, and it does a lot. And if you can get fires of invention out, you're doing pretty well at this point. And there's just no instant speed answer for it, unless I like to ferry into lava coil. But that's sort of too late at that point. Oh, <clears throat> that's the. Pretty um, expensive. All right, Kenrith and Cavalier. Oops, a flame. Important part is giving this haste. This also gives haste as well, which is not too bad. Trample and haste. Oh, I did not do that. Okay, okay. That's important. Trample and haste. Play Kenrith for free, give it a trample and haste, swing in, deal 5 damage, up to 5 damage. And that's really nice. So I see we've got red, blue, and white. Okay, so this is, yeah, the idea is this we get, we, we've got a pretty high curve, but we can play off of Fires of Invention. And we want to be digging for fighters of better with Narset and this and this. And we're going to kill everything with Bone Crush, Giant, Lava Coil and Deathling Clarion. Like, this is like the only thing I think I can think of that can deal with the Questing Beast. Shock something and then slam it next turn. And that can just block it. But let's see here. Um... Chain per cent train. Um, 
I suppose Warmth Warden is not too bad. That's actually not unreasonable, you know. Just put that back up on top of the library. Although they can play it next and we will have an answer by then. Um, so let's see, let's see here. Long Mage's binding is n is <laughs> always always stooping to this. Long Mage's binding. I think I'm going to do um, one time wipe over one deafening parian. We can return a creature. Well, we don't. Uh, I guess a bone crusher giant is not too bad. Um, let's see. Let's see. D spark. That's one way to deal with it. At instant speed in white, white black. Now, okay. So this is the Jeskai version, the je base Jeskai that I built. Hmm. Final payment is not too bad either. Hmm. Why I want revenge? Mortify. Mortify in white black. That does something. So, but I want to be red. I want to be base red. Um, and I like the blue because we've got. Fairy, we've got Narset, we've got Sahili, we've got the Royal Scions. That will help us dig through a lot of the things. <sighs> now let's look at Jund. Um, Corvold. Let's see here. Planeswalkers. Now Jund is quite nice. We've got Vraska, Golgari Queen. Um, I think a three of is just really, really nice. And um, we've got Casualties of War. Garrick, we've got Garrick. So if we cut the white, cut the blue. Okay. And we can splash the 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 the, the blue card for Nicol Bolas, obviously. So we can do that. We can do that. Let's just sort of redo this. I like the casualties of war because there's going to be lots of planeswalkers, creatures, and artifacts, even possibly enchantments. That's going to take care of all of it. And Kephis, the hidden hand. This has. Oh wait, this has Death Touch Life, and this just has just one less to play, and um, I think that's fine. Let's see, let's see. I think I I'm a fan of just oh wait, I, I three three Garrets. This is quite a top end right here. Oof. But in black we get noxious grass, and I'm a fan of that. I'm a huge fan of that. So I'm going to cut the castle Arden Vale. Oh, we've got white in here, so so <laughs> this is probably not going to cut. Make the cut, no. So, anyways, um, into planar beacon. There's four must. Let's see, let's see here. Can we change it to add or to add land? Um, cancel. I don't know if there's a way for us to auto add the lands. Ooh. Wait, land suggest land. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's very, very nice. So it's suggesting those lands for us. <coughs> so in here. Um, we don't have the temple, the both sets of temples for the colours. We've only got one, we've got the, the green black one. And Jessica, we've got both the green red and the the white red. 
so we have to play a full, a full four of Temple Melody. That's going to suck quite a bit. But we need mostly red, so it's going to be um, Stomping Ground. Full four of. And the other one is going to be Blood Crypt. Okay, Blood Crypt. So, Fabled Passage. I like two. I don't want any more than two. Now, in general, we can play the ramp package if we wanted to. But we don't need to. We're, we want to be spending our mana into um, Cavalier Flame and stuff like that. So, Cavalier. Um, let's do. All right, all right. Let's consider. So I like I like the Noxious Grass. I like the Love Coil. I like the Bone Crusher Giant. But what three mana Planeswalker can we play on turn? What basically what three mana Planeswalker can we, can we play? So let's look at Planeswalker. Type. Um, I think we can just filter in the Planeswalker. Here we go. So, not white, not blue, wouldn't. Okay, so three mana planes we've got in here. We've got Davria, the Shadow Mage. Mm. Not really. Mm. None of these are not. Are, are there any of that great? I mean, Liliana's fine. Let's do a mix of one Liliana and one and two Garricks. We've got Chonjas, the Wake Inferno. We've got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven top hen, and um, that that'll guarantee at least at least one payoff. Um, in the long run. <clears throat> uh, turn three is Tybalt going to be something we want to be playing on turn three though, and we want Sarkin. Maybe we want a full four of as well. Um. But on Fires of Invention, we want to be playing something off of Fires of Invention once we cast it. So we definitely need a lower end. And and we want to be able to play it without Fires of Invention as well. Aqua Ranger is phenomenal, but we cannot be that devoted to green. Oh man, if we could play to fairy. That's why that's why the Jeskai version is such so good. Um Sahili could be able to be cast. We've got the interplane beacon which helps us cast our planeswalkers. Uh, and Vraska is basically the only planeswalker at that at that stage. And I don't want to be playing Oko, although Oko is just it's alright. Perhaps is Domri and Arcabos of Bolus worth it? Um, do we want to play a three of this and a three of Sahili? Is that it? Or I mean, of course, we got Oko, we got Khan. Why are we worried about questing beasts when we can play our own? <laughs> Okay, so I like this. Obviously, it's a lot more. Um... Okay, so we're not playing this island. Um, basically, we can cast Nicol Bolas if we want to do, anyways. Um, I think that's fine. And now we need three, I think. So we need to dig. I think one caval one green cavalier, one of that. Don't know about the knight cavalier just yet. Assassin's trophy. Is a phenomenal all rounded card for us. And um, the only thing we're weak to is card draw. And um Vraska can do card draw, but it's at the at the um 
the whim of sacrificing our lands and we don't really want to be doing that. So I actually think Sahili is going to make the cut. Now what do we want to take out though? Well Sahili, um, I want a way to draw um, and maybe Bag of Holding is the best way to go on turn one. Bad of Holding, Bag of Holding. Whenever you discard a card, exile that card from your graveyard. Return all cards exiled with Bag of Holding to their owner's hand. Draw a card, then discard a card. There's that. And there is the, um, what should we call it? Okay, draw. In any of these colours. This is what I like Kenrith in the Jeskai version. So basically, do we want Jeskai, which is very hard to deal with Questing Beast, where in Jun we can play our own Questing Beast and just slam our opponent's face. Um like this. Bottom two it's draws but we have to sacrifice so many permanents to do that. Maybe Rick's Marley Reveler is what we want to be doing early on but that gives our opponent target of removal. Well I suppose we have creatures, some creatures in the mix anyways. <sighs> Oh right, much in the veil. Uh, that's a creature and discard, and it's a f uh, way to use our mana in Fire's Prevention. And um, I think this is the answer to our problems. So, what exactly do we want here? Literally everything here is like. Oh, okay. I think maybe we reduce one copy of Questing Beast and one copy of Lava Coil. And we're hedging on being there being lots of green Questing Beast, Salt Tie, Oko, um, and I think that's fine. And uh, shoot. Do we really want Golos? Like Cavalier of Thorn does the same thing. Um, we don't have access to five, the five colors, unless we splash in the um, gatekeeper. I think this is fine as a wrap, but we we want to be use its ability really, really well. So I'll cut that and put in the Merchant of the Veil. And I want two of them, so I've got to cut one more thing. And uh, twenty three lands curse you. I'm going to go down one Braska. I think we can really... we want to be playing 25 lands at least. Bloody hell. Okay, so. Witch's Cottage, not really something we want to be doing. Dwarven Mine, uh, the Castle Emrith, not really what we want to be doing. We're not playing any of the castles, I don't believe. So let's look at the new lands here. Um, let's see, no, none of those. Playing the shocks. Um, we want at least one swap. We haven't added a swap yet, so let's add in a swap. I want the unhinged one. It's, it's clearly a swap. And the... Forests. <clears throat> right, so this is going to be split into two parts, making this and then playing the match. So can we get away with 24 lands? This will this will about 80% of the time get us to four lands on turn four. I really like Merchant of the Veil. I want there to be I want to play another one, but 
I'm hedging on the fact that we need okay so maybe four bone crusher giants is not it's too much so I'll go down one of that and let's go up one more merchant the veil so we have mountain on turn one we've got something to do with it okay so this looks not too bad we've got two fable passages just for this that's perfectly fine um, we don't care about overgrown tombs maybe it's correct to cut one temple melody and overgrown one overgrown tomb in here and then because nickel bolus is just so powerful and we can play it anyways <clears throat> casualty is a wall um, I would say call this um, Jun fires uh, now let's see here I don't need to submit, submit the deck just yet. 12 games remaining. Choose your deck. So, I'm... Fires of Invention. That's going to be the card. Now, uh, okay. Can we do this? I think this is fine. This kills stuff, and let's make a sideboard just in case. You know, you never know. <coughs> Kenrith with the you know what? I'm sideboarding Kenrith right here, and then um, more assassins trophy. I think an extra one in the sideboard is fine. Um, not if it goes fry. Mm, what's the black one? Noxious Grasp. That's fine. What good removal spells are there? Oh, okay, so duress may be something we want, we're interested in. So I'll side in three duresses. Um, Revenge of Ravens. Okay, so I think this is fine. It's basically an oath. It's um, power down Oath of Kaya. Um, and it protects us from play, uh, creatures going wide. Um, let's see, let's see. Claim the Firstborn. That'll be interesting. Claiming the Firstborn and then sacrificing it with Raska. That's not too bad. Definitely dependent on um, creature heavy matchups and stuff like that. So, what can we do against Mono Red? Mono Red is going to be the thing to beat. Uh oh, we don't have board wipes. Oh, we need. We've got. So many of these, I didn't even consider that. Ah, mm. uh, jeez. Okay. Destroy all creatures. Right, destroy. Um, murderous Rider. Is that something we want to be playing, though? I think. I suppose two of them in the sideboard won't hurt. Um, one elder spell, two elder spells actually. We can just win with um, Icobolus if we needed to. Ritual Cert seems to be three or less. Was that too late? Can we um, gain a bit of life somewhere in these colours? That's the question here. Storm, sit storm. Um, stati status statue. Um, red, green. Cry of the Canarium. 
Maybe we have to go down one Garrick, but Garrick is so powerful. Or do we have to choose between Garrick or Liliana? I think Garrick, and all in all, is so much more powerful than just a Liliana. And, well, both of them are off colours as well. Um, I think Garrick may be easier to cast. I'm not quite sure. Now this will be awkward here, the fable, the interplaning beacon with the Cavalier Flame. But we, I suppose we, we just have to do it. Um, <coughs> Legion's End, do we want to head on Legion's End as well? Oh jeez, okay so, one Lava Coil, one Legion's End, and obviously I'm not sure we can ac do access to Cyborgs or not. Um, I think it's best one, so I have to hedge on that. Obviously, this is fine. Legion's End, Assassin's Trophy, and Sahili Sublime Artif Ar Artificer. Basically, everything we cast is going to be producing tokens to chum block infinitely as well. Um, but we've just got to be able to cast Sahili. You know. Um, Oof. Uh, instant speed is nice, we're doing lots of things at sorcery speed and um, 4.0 average, so we want to have at least 25 bands uh, that means we have to cut something <coughs> do we? okay, I'm going to see if I can run it like this um, this is going to be difficult on turn 2 but we want a variety of cards. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, one cry of a canarium for one bone crusher giant. Two, two, two. Oh, <sighs> maybe our questing beast will come out for us in the end. At least we've got um, we've got this. Um, I think we've also got something else that loots. Well, merchant of the veil loots away things that we don't need. Okay, so <coughs> and uh, let's see, let's see. Veil of Summer. One of that. We'll try this. <coughs> so so this is new experimental, I've never played with this style deck. I played with the Just Guy version, it's it's pretty nice. Um the only thing it has difficulty with is questing beast. Um and yeah, so we'll submit the deck. We'll play. Oh I think it's best of one. So good thing we hedged on that. I just not sure how this does against mono red. I have not played against mono red yet. And I think there'll be lots of mono red going about. Uh let's see, let's see. Drag cards from your hand to the battlefield to play them. Sure, sure. Hi. <sighs> okay. Is anyone actually playing? <clears throat> oh wait. Let me um. 